Hey everybody, it's Justin Spiegel here, and I'm going to show you guys how to use your MacBook for a second display. Whether you're trying to follow along to a tutorial or you just need more real estate on your screens, then this is the video for you. So let's get started right away. All right, so when you're on your on your MacBook, what you have to do is point your mouse up all the way up and then go to the second one it's going to look like a little tv screen and we're going to click on that and then now it is going to give us some display options and they are dark mode night shift true tone what we want to do is we're going to click on our, our ipad i'm using the ipad pro and the macbook air and then now we have some settings so it says used as a separate display this is the one that is going to come up automatically but you could use it to mirror the screen i'll show you that after so now that we have it as our second display you'll see on the ipad that it is lit up in the background of your macbook so now this ipad is going to act as a separate screen for the macbook just like if the screen was bigger and then in order to put a tab on it what you have to do is go to an internet tab so um, for this example, I'm going to pretend that we're using a Canva tutorial on how to make a YouTube thumbnail and we're going to follow along. So instead of having watching it and then and then doing it, you could do it at the same time. This is how I learned a lot of stuff. So we you're going to take it and drag it to the right and then you'll see it pop up here on our iPad. If you go all the way to the left, it's not going to do anything. It only goes from left to right so the macbook's on the left and our ipad is on the right and then you could put it there and you can maximize the screen and then now we could watch our tutorial video over here and then we could follow along on our macbook and we have two screens connected it's really that simple it literally takes two seconds just keep in mind it's going to be using battery on your iPad and then if you want to use your iPad like regular what you have to do is a little line at the bottom and then you go and now we're back into our iPad we could do whatever we want for our iPad and then this symbol down here like the two screen symbol that is the symbol to get back to our second display and there you go it's really simple really easy to do and it really helps with having more space on your more space to do your work the more screens you add the more productive you're going to be and it helped me in so many ways and that's why i wanted to make this video next thing that you can do is if you press the same button again up here and then go down we can use it as a to mirror the screen now this is good if you're giving a presentation or you want to teach somebody something you could have them hold the ipad you could be far away from the macbook and you could be doing stuff on the macbook and exactly what's going on on the macbook is going to be going on on the ipad so i hope this helped you guys learn how to do this quickly and i hope it helps you be more productive and learn new things on your ipad thanks for watching if you guys found value in this video give it a like also subscribe to the channel my channel is mostly about djing with the ipad so you obviously have an ipad so if you want to learn how to dj with it check out my other videos and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching